Hey folks, Harold over here. Today we're going to do a quick little look at some of the stuff that's already sprouting and uh, turning green for this year. These would all be things that were either seeded last fall, like the garlic, or are perennial and coming back. I haven't planted any seeds yet this year, though probably in the next week or so we're going to get to that. So we're going to just look around at the things that are already growing green. Some of these were green even before the snow melted off of them. And then if you're wondering about the trees and bushes, we need a few more uh, weeks at least for them to actually leaf out and then I will do an update on what all for sure survived uh, the winter of those once we can tell for sure. But today is veggies and herbs and such that uh, are green already. It's always exciting to see the first green stuff in the spring. Irises are springing up along with some grass blades in there. These were moved from my old clearing last year. Mint is one of my favorite things in the world, and I have lots of varieties, and you can barely see it coming up. But you see these little purple sprouts? They're all through there. Gotta have good eyes to see them. They'll turn green. But the, uh, the peppermints, especially, this is a very dark peppermint. I don't know if you can see those sprouts peeking out between the leaves. Not the green grass on the side, but right in the middle. The peppermints especially come up very, very dark purple till they get going and, and look green. This is fun. I checked on this the other day and then reburied them under all these leaves where you can't see if there's anything growing at all. You can see these dead stalks that come up. Those were from last year. But this is my hops uh, vine. Can you see all those little tiny baby new sprouts that are coming? They are all over here under the leaves. Little new growth popping up. And I think I counted like 25 sprouts at least last year. There was only, oh, we've got the kitten companions. There was only five of them that grew up the fence total. And now, obviously, it's gotten itself much more well established because it looks like we're going to have a lot of stalks growing this year, which is wonderful. Chives always do well for me. That giant clump in the middle is the big chive plant, and then all this stuff beside it that looks like little grass shoots coming up. Those are baby chives coming from seed. I'm going to pull most of them out just because we don't need or have room for four million chive plants in that uh, one whiskey barrel. It's fascinating to me how a lot of leaves when they first start to open in the cold tend to get a purplish color to them even if they don't have them later this where i'm trying to focus on it is a uh, honeysuckle vine i have a couple of these they produce food for pollinators not so much us but they are growing a lot of new leaves out there but they don't look very new because they're such a, a dark purple right now some of these herbs you guys saw before the the leafy frilly lighter colored one is feverfew the frilly silvery green one there is uh, silver artemisia or sweet warm wood. There's some daffodils coming up. Those even have a couple buds in them, so we might see some flowers before too long. And I can't believe how well my cheerful little pansies are doing, growing in between the daffodils and some grass and other things that need weeding there. But these are ones that came back from either reseeding themselves or the same plant as last year. And they're awfully happy looking. The rhubarb is well up. I could have filmed this a while ago. I was just too busy with everything else in between snowstorms. Multiple clumps here. I have clumps in other patches as well. But it usually comes up the first little purplish green nubbins that are growing out into being green now before the snow even fully melts off of it. This is another one that comes up before the snow even melts. Those like little pine tree top almost looking tippy tops there like that. That is all horseradish. This is my horseradish patch, which needs some weeding and mulching. The chickens have been digging it, but all through here I've got horseradish coming up. Here you can see the mini clover in the lawn growing up in front of the house. But you can kind of see when I'm zoomed out there how much brighter green and richer looking the clover patches are compared to the grass patches right now.
As you can see, it was a good thing I moved my gopher-proof beds because coming out from this side of the garden, we had lots and lots of rodent trails that tried to get into the, uh, the beds. They slammed into that wall all over. And I think we already knocked it over by walking out. There was at least one that tried to get as far as this bed, but they gave up, didn't get into any of them, and didn't even bother trying to go further. This was exciting. I actually had a parsley come back from last year. Maybe a second one. That little spot was green when uh, the snow first melted, but I think it may have died. I'm not sure. There's still some green in there. It may have survived, but I've never had a parsley survive the winter here. It's uh, annual here normally, so that's exciting. That one sure looks like it's planning to grow out and be happy again this year. Garlic is another one that usually comes up well before the snow is actually melted, so they're getting pretty tall. This whole bed is garlic. If you want to learn more about planting that, go check out the video I did last fall when I put all of this in. But it looks like every clove has sprouted down through the whole bed here. This is the strawberry bed. I also have strawberries scattered all over under trees and everything else. But these I had mulched heavily like I did all the other beds last fall. And so they're just coming through the mulch. With all their bright little green leaves you can see down through the bed there. And yes, I could remove the mulch and probably get them to warm up a little faster. But I don't really want to risk them blooming too fast and having all the blossoms frozen. So I'm okay with them waiting a little bit and coming through that mulch a little slower. But they're coming like you can see. But right here you can see how much bigger the plant already looks of one that was not um, having to come through the mulch. These were where I planted all those little baby runners we propagated last fall. And there's dead leaves, but there's lots of new growth coming out. Again, we've got purplish green leaves you can see leafing out under those old stalks. That is one of the varieties of hyssop, which is also in the mint family. The frilly stuff in between the broad leaves there is yarrow, and the broad leaves are more irises coming up. And again, right beside them, you can see how we've got strawberries all over kind of the bank edge there. We hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for more adventures. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.